Hello, and welcome back to yet another retro channel. This is the midweek palette cleanser, and we're going to be getting back to our Timex Sinclair 1000. So stay tuned. Okay, as I said uh, in this video, again, this is another quick one. We're just going to be doing two modifications to this board. First thing we're going to do is remove the 5 volt regulator here and its associated heat sink. And then we're going to replace that with this Traco Power TSR1 2450 5 volt switching regulator. It's safer, it is more efficient, it doesn't produce a lot of heat, which will help preserve this board over time and it's just a better solution. It's a drop-in replacement for a voltage regulator like this. So the first thing we need to do is get rid of this heat sink. And that heat sink will not be going back now. The next thing I need to do is desolder this regulator. It's going to be a little close because we're in there close to this switch, but we can handle it. So there's the old regulator removed from the board. And I'm just going to do a quick little bit of cleaning with IPA to get any old flux residue off of there. Now, we need to make sure we're putting this in the right way. So, on the Traco Power, pin 1 is the input voltage, pin 2 is ground, and pin 3 is the output voltage. So, what I want to look for using my meter in continuity mode is i want to look for which of these pins we're going to we know that that was going to be ground but one of these two will be the output voltage and will go to the five volts over here so the five volts on this memory chip is pin 24 so that's where the five volts goes it does not go to this pin over here so we know that this is pin 3, this is pin 2, this is pin 1. All we have to do now is drop in the replacement. As I said, it's a pin compatible with those regulators with a 7805 or, or this regulator, which isn't a 7805, but it is an equivalent. Uh, so just get this into the holes, the vias. There we go. Flush with the board. A little blob of our handy dandy blue tack to hold it in place while we solder. Solder. You didn't see that, did you? To get the camera this low and close, I have to push it away from me. This is the way the setup is in here. So there we go. And solder into place. All right, that's all there is to that. Simple modification, but now we have a safer regulator for the future. The next modification we're going to make is this. 
I put together this little board based on uh, some information I looked up on the internet uh, for modifying the ZX81 and the Sinclair 1000 for composite video. What I found was that you use, you can use a simple little board or a simple little circuit. You don't, you don't even have to make this into a board. I've seen people do it. It's just a sort of mess of wires. But uh, this is the same circuit that the Future Was 8-Bit uses for its Atari 2600 composite video mod. Uh, I just built it up on a little piece of perf board. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the RF modulator can. I'm going to remove the circuit board from inside it. And I'm going to mount this inside. Because you no longer need the RF modulator circuitry once you convert to composite. Now this circuit is a simple one, I think. I'm no expert or even, I, I can't even say I have much knowledge at all as to analog electronics. But to the best of my ability to tell, this is simply a small amplifier circuit. Um, you have only four components and some spare wire. Uh, this is a 2N 3904 transistor. I believe you could also use a 2N 2222, as I've read that those are uh, roughly equivalent. But uh, an NPN bipolar junction transistor. You've got two resistors over here, a 2.2K and a 3.3K. And then over here is a 75 ohm resistor, which I believe is giving the output video its uh, 75 ohm impedance level. So I believe that, the, that what this is doing is taking in the video in signal, which comes in here. You got five volts here, ground here. Uh, it's taking in the video signal as the biasing voltage on the transistor. Uh, the collector is bringing in five volts. The biasing voltage essentially turns on or off the output to the emitter. And as a result of that and, and the configuration of these resistors, I believe that what's that what that's doing is is it's going to amplify the signal a bit I just built this based on um, the designs that were online for the uh, futures 8-bit board and a couple of uh, blog posts regarding the uh, ZX81 and how to mod it for composite. So hopefully I've got this right. We're going to find out when I get this can off and I can test, but that's what we're going to do next. So my next task is to get rid of this RF can. Okay, so there's the can removed. I need to let that cool for a minute. Oh, I can go ahead and pull those three wires out. And now, this can. There we go. And we're going to want to save this because this is an insulating layer that'll keep our little circuit board from touching the bottom there. But now I need to desolder where this board is connected to the can. Also need to disconnect the wire from the jack. That should about do it. I should be able to slip them out. There we go. 
there is the RF modulator circuit, except for this little coil and capacitor down here. I need to get them out. Okay, now what we're going to do, first I'm going to remove this little plastic bit that helps the holes that pass through. These three wires, well two of them anyway, pass through and we will pick up our five volts and our video signal with them. The two little bare wires are ground and they are going to be soldered directly to the can. And finally this wire is our video out and it's going to go to the RCA jack. Okay, now the VIA marked USA1. There are six VIAs here in a row. The one closest to the ULA chip is video, and then the one marked USA2, which would be the first, it, from, the, from the ULA, first is the video, second, third is five volts. So that's where I'm gonna connect these little wires that I have coming out. So my video wire is yellow. I'm going to put that in USA1. And then USA 3 is our 5 volts. Okay. Those are in, and I'm going to solder them on. All right. And then they should be able to replace the can. We should, in theory, have composite video. So we're going to give that a little test. 9 volt power, composite video lead. Change over here and see if we get anything when we power it on. Cross your fingers, folks. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Hmm. Nothing. Okay. Let's see if we're getting anything. Yeah, I am getting 5 volts, so the new regulator is working. Okay, I, I wired it up wrong. I put the video in USA 1. I needed to put it in USA 3. So that was a mistake. Uh, let me redo that. Okay. Now that that's in USA 3, let's see if we get anything different. Hope I didn't damage anything. Okay. Plugging in power now. And there it is. We have a signal. And I think that might be too dim. I'm not sure what I can do about that. Check the output signal level. Yeah, peak to peak is too low. So that is not doing the job properly. I may have damaged some of the components when I had the five volts on the video in line, but that transistor should be able to handle five volts. I have the meter set to 200 millivolts per division, which puts that output at about 400 millivolts peak to peak. I should be seeing almost uh, one volt peak to peak, which is why I'm getting too dim an image on the screen. Well, back to the drawing board. At least I'm getting a composite signal now. That's, uh, that's an improvement. I'll have to do a little more research and analysis and figure out how to get that signal level up. So I have been doing research and analysis and I, I can't get this little board to work. So I'm going to scrap this design and I have found another design online. This design is actually simpler. This 
That is a 2N2222 transistor, a 100 ohm resistor, and a 200 ohm uh, trim pot. And not only is it a simpler design, but it also, through this trim pot, allows me to adjust the signal strength to the level that I, that I like. And I also took the, uh, took the precaution this time, which I should have done the first time, of going ahead and, as you can see, putting this circuit on a breadboard and testing it out first. And it does work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer this little circuit onto this piece of breadboard and get it ready for mounting back into the RF can. So, montage coming. <laughs> Okay, I think I got that right. I will, by the way, put a link to the schematic I used for this in the description below if you want to do the same mod. Okay, now to see if I got it right. Plugging in the composite video cable and... 9 volt. It does not appear that I got it right. Nope. Something's wrong. Okay, so it turns out I uh, I built the circuit correctly, but I just had it hooked up to the wrong pin on the board. So, moving that over corrected the problem, as you will be able to see. So, as you can see now, if I turn this trim pot, I can adjust how bright the image is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put it back into the case so I can test the keyboard. it and power and there we go let's see if that works there we go we've got a signal yeah the keyboard does seem to be working so that'll complete our work for today we have successfully composite modded our timex sinclair 1000 the next video uh, in this series will be at least a 16, hopefully a 32K memory upgrade. I believe those are the chips I bought were 32Ks. It takes a little more work to do a 32K mod on these than it does the 16 and a few more parts, I believe. So depending on whether I can pull everything together to do 32K, I might have to stick with 16. But after a few false starts today, we got this completed. We have a good composite video output and uh that's it so if you like this video and i know it was pretty disjointed but if you like this video click the thumbs up and if not uh, you know what to do there too um if you haven't already please subscribe and ring the notification bell and you'll get notified when i release new videos um share the video and i think that'll do it for today So everybody stay safe, stay well, have a good week, and we'll see you next time. Bye.